the season is late, good at Kishaw Call of the Hibernian, Koshing a click at the Gian, Lia Eddy, Archers and Skipper Nash and Ike Oliver, as on a game you can pin at Ars in Spain. I was really proud, I, not that I didn't expect it, but I've been working hard to try and get back into the squad, so it's really nice that I got that call up and I think it was a really good learning experience for me to be away. Training was good, it was a good high intensity training sessions and then tailored it down to recovery and all that for the girls, so it was nice and it was really good to train alongside some of the girls that are playing elsewhere as well. It is a big year and I think all the girls involved know that, we've been speaking about it when we were away and everyone's on the same page and looking to go and get what we need to do, so yeah, it's been good. Let us again be y'all, Ms. Cheek Scarrick and SWPL, ha edi idi a smoonjin idin hazen kareka shaw, id kushin le haberni, agus a bear hain. I think all the girls are in a good place right now, going into the game at the weekend and we've also had results when we've been happy with and we've had results that we've been really happy with so just kind of trying to get that consistency and I think everyone at the end of last season was a bit disappointed the way that we finished fifth, quite under, a bit under fourth so this season we were just looking to get our points total better at the end of the season and ultimately f try and finish higher up so we're on a good path for doing that and hopefully we can just keep going in the top six. It's going to be hard but we go into every game looking to win so hopefully we can finish much higher than what we did last season. All the girls are great to work with on and off the pitch and the coaching staff as well. Obviously Grant's new but he's not really new so I really got on with Grant. Um, I think he's a great manager and he manages players really well. The way that he's came in and he's kind of hit the ground running with us has been great and he knows what he wants to do and all the girls know what we want to do and everyone's just kind of working towards the same goal and everyone gets on with him really well and we're loving having him back. You've had plenty of plaudits yourself this season. Do you feel like you have maybe stepped up your game over the last year or so? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I'm back playing the position that I want to play and I think that's been really good for me, just getting that consistency and even if we do change shape, I, I kind of know what area of the pitch that I'm going to be playing it. So last season I feel like we had a number of injuries and we had to do different things than what we have this season and touch would have been good for injuries this year, so I've been able to play the position I'd like to play. And you have hibs at all in the Rangers. I guess that could be a kind of good way to do it in the car show cruise in Jedanach, Jehoop and Halopper. Farpers, and so we'll do it as Echtri, I can skip it at the nation. We want to get as far as what we can, and even the new girls coming into hibs, they know how important a cup it is for us, and we've had quite a good run in the past couple of years, so we're looking to just do that again and hopefully we can keep progressing. But what about that goal against Glasgow City? How good was that one? <laughs> I don't know how many times I've watched that back, but it was really good to get us level and get us to penalties at the end of the game and go on and win it, so it's good to get us into the next round of the cup. And just looking ahead, of course, you and the players want to finish as high as possible going into the split, but what else do you want to achieve between now and the end of the season? We're just kind of trying to build something on and off the pitch and I think that's been going really well so far. We have quite regular meetings on short-term and long-term targets and we're looking at where we were and where we are now and everyone seems to be happy with the path that we're on and hopefully we can just step up for the post-split matches as well because we know that every week's going to be tough. There have been a few disappointing results this season, I think back to the semi-finals against Partick Thistle. When you reflect on games like that, how do you try and learn from them? We learn a lot. I know we obviously lost 2-0 and it wasn't a great game to be involved in, but in that game we also had to show character to try and get back into the game and we just look at it and analyse it as much as we can and if we can take any positives we do into the next week, we look at where we can work on things and we've definitely done that in the past. I think Hibs have went from a point where they were competing for first place and then now we're in a transition period where we're wanting to get back to where we were but it, we, everyone knows in that change room that it's going to take time and it's not going to come easily so everyone's working as hard as they can, staff and players, to get Hibs back to where they were.